Hello everyone, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to take full backup of Action Server 2019 using a Windows Server Backup feature. Action includes a plugin for Windows Server Backup feature that enables you to create Action aware volume shadow copy service based backups of Action data. To take Action aware backups, we must have the Windows Server Backup feature installed on a local server. The name of the plugin is wsbaxchange.exe, which runs as a service named Microsoft Action Server Extension for Windows Server Backup. Let's verify that. And for that, on a Server Manager console, I'm going to click on Tools, and then I'm going to click on Services to open Services Management Console. Uh, let's look for the service named Microsoft Action Server Extension for Windows Server Backup feature. Uh, this is the service which we are talking about. The service is automatically installed and configured for manual startup on all Actions 2019 mailbox server. This plugin enables the Windows Server Backup feature to create Actions aware VSS backups. And as we can confirm that startup type of the service is set to manual. Uh, let me close Services Management Console. In this example, I'm using the single Exchange 2019 mailbox server without database availability group. A local server has total two mailbox databases with the database file on a separate drive and the transaction logs are on a other drive. For backup storage, I have attached a dedicated hard disk on this Exchange server. Let's open Exchange Management Shell. And here we can confirm that we have two mailbox databases on our local server with the name db01 and db02. First of all, we need to install the Windows Server Backup rule on our Action Server. And for that, I'm going to right click on Start button and then I'm going to select Windows PowerShell Admin. Let me maximize it. We will use install-windows feature seem delayed to install Windows Server Backup feature. Then we need to specify the name of Windows Server Backup. Okay, now we need to press enter. Okay, Windows Server Backup feature has been successfully installed on our local server and restart is not needed. Now I'm going to close the Windows PowerShell. Now first of all, we need to open a Windows Server Backup console and for that on a Sawmage console, I'm going to click on Tools and then I'm going to click on Windows Server Backup. You can also use wbadmin.msc command from the run menu. Let's click on local backup. Let's right click on local backup. And here we have an option for backup schedule, backup once, recover. But this time I'm going to select the backup schedule. On getting started wizard, I'm going to click on next. On select backup configuration page, we have two options to take a full server backup or custom settings. Uh, here I'm going to select the radio button custom as we want to choose custom volumes files for the backup. Click next. On select items for the backup, we need to click on add items to select the folders or partitions. Uh, here we have a certain options like bare metal, system state, etc. Bare metal recovery allows us to recover the whole server from scratch in a new physical server or a virtual machine. While system state option backs up the current system state data like boot files, system files, registry keys and so on. Here, I'm going to select bare metal recovery which also includes system state data, EFI system partition, recovery partition and a system drive. We also want to include the E drive on which we have stored the mailbox database name DB02 and the associated log files are stored on our app drive, we also want to include that. Fine, now I'm going to click on OK. Now I'm going to click on Advanced Settings to modify Volume Shadow Copy Service Settings. Now click on Advanced Settings. Actually, VSS Service, also known as a Volume Shadow Copy Service, is used to create a snapshot of current state of the server and then it will create the backup copy. Uh, let's click on VSS Settings tab and here we need to select VSS Full Backup. A VSS Full Backup option will truncate the transaction logs which creates free space in a drive where transaction logs are stored. 
VSS copy backup option will perform backup in a same manner as VSS full backup does but does not truncate the transaction logs and that's why here we are going to select VSS full backup. Thus we're going to OK and click on next. On this page specify the backup time like once a day or more than once a day. Make sure you don't define the time during the business hours. As this is a virtual machine and we are using for the testing purpose, I am going with the default selection. Let's click on next. On this page, we need to specify the destination where we want to store our backup copy. In our case, we will select the first option as we have attached the dedicated hard disk to store the backup of our action server. Let's click on next. On selected destination disk page, select the disk where you want to store your backup. If the disk is not showing up, then you need to click on show available disk button. So let's click on it and select the available disk. Click OK. Select the disk and click on next. We will be presented with the warning saying the drive will be formatted and any existing data on the drive will be lost. Click on yes on the warning page. Review the settings which you have selected and if you are ready then click on finish. The application will now format the disk and will start the backup automatically as per the defined time. Let's click on close to close this console. As we can see the information about the scheduled backup like backup items, uh, advanced settings which we have defined like VSS full backup, the destination location where we want to store the backup and the backup time. For this video, we want to run the backup manually and that's why I'm going to right click on local backup and here I'm going to select backup once. Here we have a two options, the schedule backup options or a different options. As we have created the schedule backup and that's why I'm going to select schedule backup options. Click on next. On this page, it is asking us for the confirmation that the backup items which are going to be included in backups are this. If you are happy with it, click on backup to start the backup process. As we can see, the backup process has been started. And this process will take some time to complete based on the data available on your server. And that's why I'm going to pause the video recording. Once the backup process complete, again I'll resume the recording. As we can see, the backup has been completed successfully. Total 26.42 GB of data has been transferred to our hard disk, which we have attached for the backup purpose. And that's all for this video. In this video, we have seen the steps to perform full backup of Action Server 2019 using a Windows Server backup feature. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.